how you guys are doing welcome to a new video in this video we are still working on a CKA and another killer coda lab and this one is on workloads and scheduling um, so these are most common as <clears throat> questions on workloads and scheduling let's go ahead and start this let's see what we got here all right so for this question we got to go into this context which i already did it looks like we're using deployment config maps and config map and configure pod config map okay so within the default namespace there is a web application deployment name web app that relies on an environment variable that can change frequently you need to manage this environment variable using a config map so please follow the these steps create a config map um, name this guy with the key value pair like this okay so let's go ahead and create that k create config map this is going to be the name of it and i forgot how is it that we need to do it um, from file from nv file from literal that's the one that we got to use uh, with the two signs there we go so I should like clear the screen real quick. From literal, we gotta use this key, key value pair. Okay, okay, describe on fake map and web app. See if it's in there. Yep, the data is application. Well, the keys application and the value is web app. All right looking good guys to update the deployment uh, update the deployment of the web app deployment to utilize the newly created config map all right mm -hmm. okay let's do edit we want to edit a deployment web deployment so in here this one sometimes can get tricky we got the envi the env right here which we are going to keep it the same env let's see how we do this uh, we already did a config map so I want to do take a look at how we configure a pod there's a couple of options that we need to do scroll down I don't like that one that's not what we need that's that one we don't need either wait do we need this one no Or pod is probably here so EMV name so the name from name the value app so from name we're going to keep the name we are going to start from value and the key pair there we go so yeah we're going to keep the same name we don't need to change it but we do need to delete this guy paste that in here so we need to now work on our syntax let's see or our indentation so name right at the end but the C and the L needs to be aligned the C and the L are aligned there we don't need this delete it so the C and the L and then the config map and name the end the two ends needs to be aligned. Yep, and then the key and the name I think they also need to be via the same spot. That's great. So now what was the name of that config map that we created? We can open a new tab. Okay, get config map. This is a name. Oops, I always do that. Tab number one. So now we need to. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just do here? Go back to my tab. There we go. Now looking good. So now we need to specify the name of the config map, which is this guy, and then the key, right? The key is going to be application in all uppercase right here. We can delete this value. There we go. 
looking good looking good looking good yep let's go ahead and save this guy and k describe pod and we can probably see it yep application config map looks like it's working good so now I think everything is good k get pod run and running I think this is it this is it check it validation successful awesome awesome sauce so yeah um, that was a good one um, and guys this is it for this video guys if you guys enjoy this video um, again this one was a lab about the CKA right how to troubleshoot deployments with config maps and all that good stuff so this one was really good one um, if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel because it is free and you should do it thank you guys for watching see you the next one bye bye